Tenno Sheetlan. I really like this servant in the original form, like just the design in general. Um, this one, I really, really, really like the MP. I am a huge, huge like Power Rangers fan from like when I was a little kid. And this MP satisfies so much that I didn't know I was missing. Am I glazing the hell out of this character though? No, 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 no. I'm not gonna tell you to use her for all your farming because that's not where she's gonna shine. Uh, this character is gonna shine in fights that are either A, uh, fighting multiple enemies at once. Like I'm talking six enemies, not uh, even three. That's where her damage really will start shining. But also like sub DBS support, uh, this character just doesn't want to do a if she's going to be in farming, she doesn't want to be the one that's actually doing the farming, if that makes sense. And she, yes. Is it her best role? No. Right. First off, base attack, it is low for five star, uh, four stars, sorry. It's low for four stars, but not a concerning low. It's not like uh, 8K where like a DPS is like literally doing three star attack. Uh, but she probably would have liked if her attack was base at least 9.5. But again, she's not really a farmer. That level of attack difference isn't going to matter that much. She's going to get way more different buffs. HP, this is definitely higher to compensate at around level at level 90. I'd probably say this is like 13.8, 13.7. Uh, it's decently high, but not or like i'll even raise it as stuff like third uh 14.1 probably 14.1 is probably a good midpoint for this uh anyway star weight star gen these are moon cancer numbers uh star gen i really like having quick cards like with this many hits means they're gonna gen like good amount of mp and uh stars pairing with a 0.58 this quick arts card, it's not going to be Koi and Skya levels, especially because uh, Tena Shitlen uh, doesn't have MP game buffs. If she did, this definitely would be comparable to Koi and Skya's arts card, and that is literally the best card, arts card in the game, I believe, by like a lot. Uh, so this being not that far off it, nice. uh very low death rate uh stage three animal character characteristic and bunny servant these two by the way apparently this is an actual trait now it's not just animal characteristic but bunny servant is now an actual trait uh tenno chitlin is going to be buffing them only slightly although special type of buff not the normal kinds uh, especially considering she's on the banner with BB. So, first one. Flat 20 battery for the entire party. Uh, heal for everyone in the party for 3 turns uh, at 1,000 per turn. And 20% attack buff. Slight demerit of a 10% attack buff for the enemy team. Uh, just saying though, because this is the merit, there is a chance if you pop Alko's uh, third skill on Tenochtitlan, uh, it would negate this part, I'm assuming, because it says demerit here, and that's what Alco stops. But uh, I, I'm making the assumption. If she's if Alco doesn't stop this, I'll just pin it in the comments. The second skill is where her bread and butter comes from, and she's basically uh, Psycho Magoichi if she was AOE and not single target. Like in the whole, like in the grand sense of that phrasing, she doesn't do crits. She's not focused on a single target. She is focused on getting hit and then MPing. Very similar to Psycho, but unlike Psycho that wants to get hit to spam her MP, uh, Tenno Chilan wants to get hit so that she can, her MP just gets uber powered up. Uh, if she's a good, uh, sorry. Something to note with uh, skill sets like this, if you have someone that can skill seal uh, through uh, like esports, really helps it out a lot, especially for this kit. 
because she has 50% defense up and there is a possibility of being able to double stack this in the same turn uh, with a pen five, her own skill and qu double coin and Skya. I know she's quick. I'm just saying like in a use case, you would be able to both double stack this buff to get 20% MP damage per every attack, but also have a hundred percent defense for three turns. Uh, if you don't know like how defense stacking works, if you have a hundred percent defense, you do not take damage. If you get close to that and then you have damage cut of like a thousand, like you're at, say you're at 70% defense and then you get a thousand uh, damage cut. A lot of the times you're going to take zero damage at that point too. So for a CQ content for boss fights, this by itself is good. If you have some kind of like healing, per, more healing per turn than just this, uh, it's really hard to like actually put her in the grave before this goes off cooldown. And again, if you can have beyond 100% of time on this skill, you're just going to be spamming MPs and like doing a lot of damage. Third skill is where the support utility comes from, like the real support. So 30% arts, 30% buster for herself, not party wide, but considering how much MP damage she's stacking, it's not the worst thing that her car buffs are a little higher like just in general 20 percent attack uh after one turn you get 30 percent mp damage and then 30 percent like if these are aoe it would be better for this part but is what it is full turn and evasion and then for bunny allies 30 percent crit damage and reduces their skill cooldown by one so not only that, like they get animal characteristics, so Koi and Dark works with them, but every servant here gets this cooldown reduction. Uh, thing to know about Alco, it is only stage one Alco. It is not going to be super Alco, um, as you can see, like one through three. I'm assuming it doesn't. Yeah, no, hold up. It will it will show here. Yep. Super Alco. Uh, immune to Inuma Ailish and does not have Bunny Servant. So for this trait, you really have to be like paying attention to what form they're in. The only servants that get this like flat out is Koi and Skaya and Astolfo. And funny thing for Koi and Skaya, uh, because of how her kit works, uh, if you do a multi-core with her and like plus she has this video, you can make double coin sky pop her skills like if you have two of them like four times so one coin sky would get what was it like 100 percent power mod uh no four hold up two hundred percent power mod against man attribute and then if you're fighting humans that are also man attribute that's 400 percent power mod uh stack with all the buster ups it really is a stupid amount of damage, but it pretty that is so heavily stacking uh, mods like power mods that there is like almost no attack for her. So yeah, yeah, that is a meme comp. It's not a real comp. I'm just saying that's something you can do. Uh, and honestly, it did look pretty fun for watching Koi and Sky. His 120 Koi and Sky hit like a lot of damage. Um, anyway. Yeah, so have to be aware of uh, what costumes or what ascensions your servants are in. If you play on random like I do, this is going to be annoying and you have to like turn that off for any CQ you're doing. But at least it's for a CQ and you're not trying to do this in farming. So it's like not as rushing. You just turn it off when you're done or you go back to random when you're done. Uh, speaking of that arts card, uh, passive 17% arts, like even though she doesn't have a card buff, that is like close to what a um, AOE buffs have, like I uh, think Sakamoto Ryoma, like his arts buff is like 20% for the entire party. He has that, almost has that as a passive. Uh, Divinity Particle, great damage on water side. It's Tlok or Tenochtitlan. Uh, the OG had something similar, I'm pretty sure. 
uh, Capital of the Moon, quick up 5%. I already talked about the arts, 5% crit damage, and the entire party gets damage cut by 200 while she's on the field. So if you have other servants that have like AOE defense, your team is probably not dying for the three turns that this is up and then all the other defense. Like you use her with mash. A, you have two taunters. B, you have like so much fucking defense. So going back up here, she has a 20 party battery. She does not have a 30. That's part of the reason she's not going to work that well for farming. She doesn't have the 30, the mana loading to go to 50 and then go from there. Uh, you would have to have Oberon out in front. So already you'd be married to a double Oberon comp if you wanted to try to do black rail looping. Um, hang on, I'll actually do the testing. Uh, no, we'll, I'll do the, I'll add it in after. Um, but yeah, mana loading. If she isn't able to do double, uh, or not double, Oberon with two Scotties, I probably wouldn't. I might recommend it just that you have the serpent coins, but I, uh, I honestly would say like skill reloading. I think it's kind of just fun that because she's a bunny servant herself in third ascension, this would turn into four cool, uh, four cooldowns across the board. Like I was saying, like that is unique utility that you don't see often and you don't have to pop this on the second turn like you don't like if you try to do like koi and sky pops you don't have to do this all in one turn like you can space it out uh extra extra damage against pretenders they're both they're neutral so it kind of it's whatever crit damage she's not really crit focused like she has some crit damage and her supports give her crit damage, but it's not like she does super phenomenal crit damage just besides her being quick. Uh, and then extra attack just because she is going to be more on CQs. You might be getting like you might want a card to get refund, but you don't you're probably not going to have to. It's like supports probably coming in. All right, MP. Six hit a we quick ignores invincibility for one turn super effective damage against super large enemies reduces defense after damage three turns and mp damage overcharge starts at 20 goes up to 40. uh yeah so let me give me a sec i'm gonna do the math okay so unfortunately because uh not this sheet this sheet hasn't been updated uh what i normally use for uh, like testing looping and stuff uh, this isn't working but uh, I use Laplace and I checked so if you're try if you even tried to black rail loop with a servant uh, even at, like and I did mp2 not even one uh, double ruler Scotty her own buffs and skill one for Oberon for turn one she only looped 38%. So I'm going to double check again with uh, triple Scotty with Black Row, but I wouldn't be able to use the burst battery. So I'll check back up in, in a second. Okay. So just double checked again. There is no conceivable way uh, that she can ever start from zero um neuro it takes neuro bride to loop 250 and if she's starting from zero that's not going to work so a she's always gonna have to start with a 50 percent ce if she's if you're trying to farm with her b there's another issue with the fact that because she's uh neutral she's gonna have problems getting overkill which is probably having a lot to do with her own refund so again keep her for cqs she has a dodge taunt ignore invincibility defense up that happens after damage she doesn't want to be in farming 
Matt's the level. Uh, I like love moon cancers and rulers and alter egos because they don't require like other mats. It's stuff you either always get from a shop in an event or you get it from lottos. Uh, she only needs two different gold mats. So she's not going to be the hardest to level. And I believe these were, this was in the monthly ticket and these at least the seashells were in the shop for the last event same with the ice so you shouldn't have that much of a problem getting her up as long as you like play during those times on ce uh i saw a meme on twitter that this is a marriage can't contract that she already signed um would fit her uh, i mean she's a city of course she'd want someone inside them uh but that is what it is he does not hide how much she actually likes you as a servant seeing as last one she gave you the literal key to her heart uh so mp damage for herself and party uh power mod against super large enemies 10 percent while she's on the field i'm not sure if there is content in the game that really like suits a character like this but considering we just went through ordeal call 2 which was all avengers if you did not have a good moon cancer, like you weren't doing, you didn't have class advantage, but I do think Avenger had a different, uh, had like pa special passives in that. So haven't done it in a couple months, gonna have to go back to it really soon. Uh, but she is the first AOE quick moon cancer. She's the first quick moon cancer. If you're looking to like always have options for like whatever, like, encounter you have there aren't that many servants that can ramp up mp damage like this especially not in the situation where she's fighting six enemies like um for instance like you olga there was a couple fights that was like multiple enemies uh coming in like in waves of six or staggered staggered waves so a certain like a servant like this actually would be able to do something about that because she'd have buffs going after her normal three times like this MP damage. If she's fighting six enemies, this is going to be like 120 MP damage like she has after this buff goes away and other buffs from support go away. But she's on the banner with uh, BB Dubai. Uh, I think I need like one or two more days before I'm ready for her video. Uh, but being on the banner with BB is definitely not the worst thing that could possibly have happened to her. Uh, if you get a good a good couple copies, try her out. See how she works in like story and stuff. Uh, other than that, that's going to be it for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.